Currently, China urgently needs to master five cutting-edge technologies. Once China makes breakthroughs in these five core technologies, it will no longer rely on foreign technology, and China will not be afraid of any country monopolizing limiting its development. So, what are these five cutting-edge technologies? Hi. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. The first and most urgent is chip technology. According to data from China Customs, in 2022, China imported 538.4 billion integrated circuits, a decrease of 15% from the quantity in 2021, but still accounting for a large part of China's import trade in this area. Wei Xiaojun, the director of the Microelectronics Department at Tsinghua University, has publicly discussed China's chip technology development issues. He believes that the investment in the chip industry is significant, and many investors lack a clear concept of investing in this industry. Some people believe that 5 billion yuan is enough to build an integrated circuit factory, but Wei Xiaojun said that at least one more zero needs to be added. Still, building an integrated circuit factory with 50 billion yuan may not guarantee success. After all, this is research, not ordinary manufacturing. This amount of funding and risk makes many entrepreneurs shy away from taking on this work. Without sufficient funding, research cannot proceed smoothly. In addition, manufacturing chips also requires various supporting equipment, such as lithography machines, which are known as the most sophisticated and complex machines in the field of human technology. Lithography machine technology requires the highest technical content among all semiconductor equipment and covers the widest range of areas, such as precision optics and high-precision microenvironmental control, etc. All these technologies are indispensable. The production of lithography machines is not the job of one company, but requires support from the global industry chain. Fortunately, lithography machines made in China are constantly making breakthroughs, and China's chip technology is slowly seeing hope. Two industrial robots. Industry is definitely the cornerstone of the development of a modern country. Western countries have undergone three industrial revolutions, which have given their national strength a leap forward. To innovate industry, the degree of automation must be increased to improve production efficiency. Therefore, industrial robots that can be widely used in various industrial fields are necessary. Industrial robots have been used in industry since the 1950s and can be used in industries such as product processing, logistics, automobile manufacturing, electronics, electrical, chemical, medicine, etc., replacing traditional manual operations. This is a global trend. China attaches great importance to the research and development of industrial robots but is indeed limited by core component issues and lags behind others. 3. Industrial software. To develop industry, attention must be paid not only to the most obvious areas, such as the development of industrial robots, but also to the less noticeable areas. Industrial software is that easily overlooked area, and most of China's industrial software currently relies on imports. Germany, the United States, and others are all objects of Chinese imports. Germany has the highest software revenue in Europe, with more than 30,000 companies engaged in basic software alone. Among the top five software companies in Europe, German companies occupy three places. The United States is the country that developed computer-aided engineering research earliest, and its Novell software company basically monopolizes this field. However, China's software research and development investment is insufficient, technology is limited, professional talents are scarce, and awareness of intellectual property rights is not high enough, resulting in a lack of international competitiveness for products. China should adjust its policies and vigorously support the development of industrial software. 4. High-end medical equipment. I believe many people who have been to China know about the technical weakness of medical equipment. In fact, many inspection and treatment equipment in China are imported from abroad. Expensive medical treatment has always been a headache in China, and this is caused by the high cost of importing these devices. 
the United States is the first to manufacture top medical equipment in the world. Do you think that Johnson & Johnson & Abbott, which are usually well-known in the United States, only make toiletries and milk powder? In fact, they are medical equipment oligarchs. There are also American companies such as GE Healthcare, Baxter, and Meriton, whose medical equipment research and development are world-leading. There are also Japan, Germany, the Netherlands, etc. Many of China's medical equipment are imported from these countries. 5. Carbon Fiber Carbon fiber is known as black gold in the industry, and its strength can reach seven times that of steel. It is the absolute king of emerging materials. In the past, China was severely restricted by the United States and Japan in terms of carbon fiber technology, and was ridiculed for never being able to develop it successfully. Japan is even more advanced than the United States in carbon fiber technology. Mitsubishi and Tori are the top carbon fiber companies in Japan, and their technology can be called the world's top. Although China has been trying to catch up, it is still hovering outside the door of core technology. Carbon fiber can be widely used in high-tech industries, such as aviation, automobile manufacturing, rail transit, and so on. In addition, if wind turbine blades want to reduce weight, carbon fiber is also essential. At present, only Jilin City in China has a national-level carbon fiber incubation base. Among them, Jilin Chemical Fiber Group has the best development. Most of the carbon fibers it produces are used in China's wind power, photovoltaic, and hydrogen energy technology fields, but this is far from enough. China's industry wants to go green, and carbon fiber technology still has a long way to go. In summary, the development of science and technology requires innovation capabilities. In fact, academician Xu Guanhua of the Chinese Academy of Sciences once said in a CCTV interview on how to solve the problem of China's weak science and technology, it is necessary to strengthen the ability of independent innovation. Academician Xu's words touched on the core issue of China's technological development. In terms of technological innovation, China has suffered a lot. When China had a good relationship with the Soviet Union, it relied heavily on the cutting-edge technology provided by the Soviet Union. For example, in building the atomic bomb, the Soviet Union provided a lot of help to China. But the way to build an atomic bomb has not been figured out yet. Because of the bad relationship between China and the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union withdrew their scientists and stopped providing education and technical support to China. China can only start from scratch by itself, spending a lot more it takes time. Therefore, if you want not to be afraid of foreign monopoly, you must first fundamentally strengthen yourself. Only by constantly innovating independently and mastering complete intellectual property rights can we solve problems from the source. The biggest problem in China at present is that its original innovation capability is weak. Although many products are manufactured by itself, it relies heavily on foreign countries for key technologies of products. The introduction of technology is not only a matter of cost, but also controlled by people. If foreign intellectual property rights parties tamper with a certain part at will, it can seriously affect the quality of Chinese products. If the technology provider upgrades the technology, China will have to spend money to introduce it. Regarding this aspect, Academician Xu mentioned that it is not impossible to introduce technology. The key issue is that we cannot lack technological innovation capabilities. The introduction of foreign technology is the ability to learn, but we need to continue to grow on the basis of it in order to transform other people's abilities into our own. China is now a world-recognized manufacturing powerhouse, but this does not mean that China's technology is leading enough. It only means that China is leading in production. If we quickly overcome the five technical problems mentioned above, we will be able to take the lead in the world's technological power. One seat, at least no longer have to worry about the monopoly of foreign technology. What do you think, when will China be able to conquer all these five technologies? Well, thanks for your watching, and please be free to put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.